Yeah, he told police that he was abducted and tortured overnight. Then police tracked his phone here to a home on Trotter Street in Oxford Circle. You can see at least one police car standing by outside of the home right now. But police say that the victim was actually reported missing last night at around 1130 by his parents. The parents told police that they heard a loud noise and then found three bullets in the basement of their home. They could not find their child. Now, police then used the teen's phone to track him to that home on Trotter Street. Police were able to get in contact with him and he told police that he was trapped and being held at gunpoint before the phone actually cut off. Police and SWAT then surrounded the home, talked to the abductors. They say eventually the victim and two others came outside. They now have three people in custody, two women and a man. So it was a good job done by police and detectives in order to track this phone and to find the alleged abductors and police were able to talk them into coming out of the property, which they did. So police now trying to look for a gun that was used in the abduction. We do know that the uh, victim, police say, was beaten up pretty badly, but he was able to identify the abductors to police. I'll send it back to you guys. I'm Miguel Martinez-Valle, NBC 10 News.